so stay cool. Uh, that's a look at weather. Case? Thanks, Mike. A very important and worthy effort happening over the weekend. Safe Kids, Safe Kids Clark County is teaming up with doctors from Desert Perinatal Associates to offer a new location for free child car seat checks. The next one is Saturday. Jeannie Cosgrove from Safe Kids is here, and Dr. Paul Wilkes is also here to tell us where you can go and to demonstrate some child car safety seats. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, Jeannie. Dr. Paul, thank you for being here. Good morning. Good morning. Jeannie, I want to start with you because this is so important. We understand 73 percent of, of these child car seats are not installed properly. Oh, it's even higher here in Clark County. More oh. like 98 percent are installed oh. wrong. So nationally about 73 percent, but here it's even worse. So what I think is just awesome is that the doctors take care of these high-risk moms throughout the entire pregnancy and they want to make sure that they're taking it a step further by having their patients make sure that their babies are traveling safely. Doctor, th these children are so, uh, so fragile at, at, well, at any age, but particularly at one years old, which is what we're going to demonstrate here in a moment. Uh, how can they best use these seats to protect their children? Well, we initially got involved when we heard the figures for Clark County, and, you know, these moms will spend hundreds of hours and tens of thousands of dollars to get pregnant and to get through their pregnancies and then they have this precious baby and they're putting that baby in danger even on the ride home from the hospital right. so what we do is we recommend that you rely on the experts to show you how to install these car seats correctly. And Janie is an expert, so why don't you let us know what we should do here. Well, a very important thing when they're newborns is to remember that infants need to remain rear-facing for a minimum of a year and 20 pounds. And so that's a big mistake is that a lot of parents are turning the babies around too quickly. If you saw the crash testing footage, you would be surprised on how well they do rear-facing as opposed to forward-facing. So they also need to be in the car seat nice and snug to where you can only fit one one finger between the strap and the collarbone. That's very important. God forbid you have a rollover, you want to make sure that the Certainly. baby is secure in the car seat. What about securing the car seat to the car itself? It has gotten a little bit easier as time's gone by mm -hmm. because we do have the latch system in vehicles, which is the lower anchor tether. But we're finding that people are attaching it to the wrong places. And the seatbelt systems are hard for them to understand because they're designed for adults, not for car seats. So after they're one, after they turn, let's say, one and a half, two, it's okay to face them forward in the car? Yes, not in this particular car seat. This is an infant only seat. But they can go forward facing in a convertible car seat. But really the longer you keep them rear facing the better. So the minimum is one year and 20 pounds. But really American Academy of Pediatrics is saying keep them rear facing longer now. And the law is children six and under up to 60 pounds have to stay in a car seat, correct? That is correct. Doctor, we want to talk about the event that you have this Saturday. When is it and where is it? Yes, this event is going to be at our office on Fort Apache and Russell, Desert Perinatal Associates. Uh, it will be this Saturday and I believe 9, nine to, to noon. 9 to okay. noon and um, we have some neat giveaways going on. We're going to give away some free spa services at our spa there at Desert Perinatal Associates. Have some raffles going. We really want to try and do anything we can to get families out to learn how to properly install these car seats. And just awareness of the problem is a big deal and then you can go out there, you can find out how to do this and everything will be fine as long as you have the proper equipment. Yes, that's correct. Dr. Jeannie, thank you very much for joining us. Thank, thank you, you for having us. Lisa? Alright. Coming up next,